Security has been a problem for years. In this play, The Disposal of Digby, Philip Levine offers a solution. Digby, what are you doing in here? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kendrick. Uh, merely a question, Digby. Uh, this is my office, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, the uh, figures arrived from the Ministry of Supply. I thought you'd need them for your meeting. But why are you over by that file? The papers were loose, sir. I was uh, looking for a folder. Uh, all right, get them here. Yes, sir. Thank you, Digby. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kendrick, I wonder... If... Yes, what is it? Uh, well, it concerns my annual leave, sir. Your what? Y y leave? Uh, holidays, sir. I did broach the matter last month. Uh, well, I know it's rather short notice, sir, but if possible, I'd like to go off from the first. Well, in a bit of a rush, aren't we? Uh, doctor advised it, a uh, health reason, thinks I'm run down. Oh, going to chase the sun, are we? No, sir, uh, trip to the Far East. Far East? Uh, always wanted to go. I thought I might visit Hong Kong and then perhaps Japan. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, why not? Um, uh, very well, Digby. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, switchboard. Mr. Kendrick here. Put me through to the minister, will you? And hurry. It's urgent. Are you sure you won't, Kendrick? Uh, fine, Mr. Vanner. Uh, no, no, not for me, Sir Gerald. I, um, I hope I didn't disrupt your meeting, sir. You did. But never mind. Uh, it's, um, it's Digby, sir. Digby? Uh, the fourth secretary in charge of synthetic foods. Oh, yes. Uh, very competent. Uh, was. A bit worried about him. Security, you mean? Uh, well, the, the, this morning I caught him in my office. Is that so unusual? No, but uh, he was over by my secret file. The file on Project Avalon. Avalon? You're certain? Positive, sir. He appeared flustered, and then he asked for leave. Leave? To travel where? Uh, far East. Hong Kong. Good Lord. Stone's throw from Peking. And a direct route to Moscow. Exactly. He usually goes to Torquay. And certainly no further than Switzerland. Uh, you can see why I called you, sir. Yes, I am glad you did. A leak at this time might ruin the entire project. Avalon's British, and it must remain British. One word, just a whisper, and... Oh. Couldn't we detain him somehow, sir? Be very tricky, no grounds. Oh, of course, sir, I may be doing him an injustice. But we can't take the risk. Beyond cabinet level, there are barely a handful who know. Tell me, is he married? Uh, no, sir. How about close relatives? Oh, none, according to his file. Excellent. Then we shall dispose of him. Yes, we shall dispose of our Mr. Digby. Um, dispose, you say? But how, sir? How? Oh, come along, Kendrick. The only way... Surely you haven't forgotten Miss Trevelyan? <laughs> Doubtful if anyone could forget Miss Trevelyan. I do so agree with you, Kendrick. Bewitching eyes, enchanting voice, most regrettable. The uh, same routine, sir. To the letter. Project Avalon must remain secret. You have my orders, Kendrick. Dispose of Digby. Oh, uh, Digby. Oh, yes, sir. I just thought I'd bid you bon voyage. Oh, thank you, sir. All packed? Uh, well, more or less. Uh, when do you leave, exactly? Sunday night. Mm, can't wait to be off, hmm? Oh, I expect I shall miss the old place. And we shall miss you, too, Digby. A happy flight. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Taxi, sir. Oh, that's a bit of luck. I rang for one, but my phone's out of order. But I'd miss my plane. Well, John Peter, Millie's that case, all right? Yes, fine. I, I say, you haven't asked me where I want to go. Oh, didn't you say, Radwick, sir? Oh, oh did I? Oh, so sorry. Well, anyway, I must be there by 10.30. Don't worry, sir. I'll have you there on time.
Driver, surely I want the main airport building. No, it's closer. Temporary. Doing some alterations. Oh, well, I better settle up with you and then see if I can find a porter. Don't worry, sir. Here's one now. Passport, sir. Oh, yes, here we are. Uh, would you kindly remove your bowler, sir? My bowler? You, you, I'm so sorry. Your destination, sir? Hong Kong. Your flight's already been called, sir. Just follow the blue light. Oh, thank you. Uh, excuse me, please. Yes, sir? Uh, flight 748, Hong Kong. This mist, I... I see a thing. Yes, visibility is rather poor, but uh, this way for flight 748. You comfortable, sir? Uh, fine. There are not many people aboard, though, are there? We pick up most of our passengers en route. I see. Now, uh, coffee, sir? Uh, uh, before we take off? Well, there may be a slight delay. The weather. Oh. Well, in that case, please. Any milk? Just a dash. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. What a charming girl. <laughs> nice figure, too. Mm, delicious coffee. That's odd. I, I feel rather sleepy. here. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Oh, we're moving. No delay after all. Mr. Digby. Mr. Digby. How are you feeling, Mr. Digby? Oh, a little dizzy. <laughs> Not surprised. Doctor, are you? Uh, how did you guess? What am I doing here? Don't you remember? <laughs> no. I... Well, one minute I boarded a plane at Radwick Airport. Oh, well, that's something. No amnesia. But how did I get here? Your plane hit a magnetic storm after leaving Karachi. I'm taking miles off course. Then you crash-landed. Must have hit your head on the front seat. Barely concussed by the look of you. But what is this place? Oh, just a tiny island off the coast. Well, it's British territory, that's something. Was anyone else hurt? Well, there were a few scrapes and bruises, but everyone's left for the mainland. Well, if you don't mind, I would like my clothes and I must be on my way. You can have your clothes, certainly, but you won't be able to leave the island just yet. Well, why not? <laughs> well, we've no airport here. The plane crash-landed in the jungle. But there are boats, surely. Mm, very infrequent, though. And you've just missed one. Won't be another for months. But there must be some way of getting to the mainland. Not unless you're a strong swimmer. That's not very funny, Doctor. And the coast of India's at least 400 miles away. Then there's very little point in getting up just yet, is there? I presume there is a British consul here. Yes. Right. And I shall have a word with him. Oh, do come in, Mr Digby. Braithwaite, British consul. How do you do? Could I trouble you for your passport? Oh, certainly. Thank you. Well, I was on my way to Hong Kong. First leave for some years. Doubted there'll be another boat here for some time, and we've no landing strip. Oh, what about a helicopter? <laughs> yes, smart chap, that's an idea. Rather costly to hire, though. Might land you with a bill for several hundred. Oh, but it's the airline's responsibility. They must spare the cost. Yes, I suppose I could contact them by radio. After all, you work for the Ministry, don't you? How do you know that, sir? Well, uh, uh, your passport. Oh, of course. Yes. I'll contact them at the same time. Maybe they can pull a few strings. If you pop back this afternoon, I'll give you all the gem. Well, I, I'm very much obliged to you. My pleasure. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. shouldn't go wandering about the island. Oh, why not? The natives. Rather primitive. Uh, yes, I noticed the barbed wire enclosure. We're just completing our defences. Uh, defences? Usual military installations. No other way of keeping the enemy at bay, is there? No, I suppose not. So you stay this side of the fence, won't you? You're my responsibility, and I'd hate anything to happen to you.
Ah, Mr. Digby, I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Uh, No, Mr. Braithwaite, I was here a trifle earlier. Well, I'm afraid there's little hope of your leaving here just yet. But haven't you been in touch with the airline? Yes, they refuse to accept responsibility. But what about the Ministry? Been in touch with them personally, most concerned. Said you were a chap of outstanding ability. So I suggested that perhaps you could work here for the time being. Work? At the consulate. But my holiday... They'll grant you leave at a later date. But I really... I'm afraid there's no alternative, old chap. Now, I'm sure we'll get along fine. And with your flair for organisation, you'll be a great asset to us. Far better than hanging about doing nothing, don't you agree? Yes, I suppose. Fine, then that's settled. Now, we must get you fixed up with accommodation. The staff bungalows are very pleasant, prefabricated, but every modern convenience. And you'll find we've quite a social life here. Now, I'll call my secretary and get her to arrange things. Hello. Won't you come in, please, Miss Trevelyan? Thank you. Now, if there's anything you need, just ask Miss Trevelyan. She's very obliging. Ah, Miss Trevelyan. This is Mr. Digby, joining our staff for a while. Hello, Mr. Digby. Hello. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must leave you, Digby. Important conference. Yes, of course. Mr. Trevelyan will look after you, I'm quite sure. Glad to have you with us, Mr. Digby. Glad to be here. My plane crash-landed. Did it now? How unfortunate. Yes. Well, still, it seems a pleasant little place. A few months here won't do me any harm. I gather there's quite a social life here. Mm. What does one do about food? Most people eat in the staff canteen, but uh, I prefer to cook for myself. Uh, Why don't you join me? Join you? For dinner. Mine's the little bungalow past the main building. That's awfully kind of you. Not at all. I'll be expecting you about 8.30... I thought we'd eat out here on the terrace, Mr. Digby. Fine. Well, it's such a beautiful night. It's awfully nice of you, Mr. Vellian. Cora, please. (laughs) Cora. (laughs) It's pretty. Cora, did you say? Hmm. Cora Trevelyan. Something wrong? You can't be the Cora Trevelyan. I mean the one who... Who what? Well, the one who disappeared. Vanished. I remember there was quite a splash about it. But I didn't uh, disappear, Mr. Digby. Oh? No, I was um, removed, uh, disposed of. (laughs) Mr. Fellin, you're pulling my leg, of course. Well, you don't think I'm here through choice, do you? The Ministry considered I was a threat to security, so I was um, abducted and brought here. They kidnapped you? Oh, not just me. You too, Mr. Digby. I've seen your file. You didn't land here by accident. (laughs) Why should they do that? You're a threat to security. A threat to... Oh, what nonsense. Weren't you part of Project Avalon? Yes, yes, but it's top secret. I I knew nothing about the actual project. No, this is ridiculous. They can't keep us here forever. Can't they? No, I'll build a raft. There's no point. There must be some way of escape. There isn't. Now let's have a drink and sit here and enjoy the evening. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I must say, it is rather a beautiful moon. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What's the joke? (laughs) All I said was, it's rather a beautiful moon. But that's not the moon, Mr. Digby. That's the Earth. The Earth? Yes, my dear Mr. Digby. We're on the secret project. The planet Avalon. 